hello guys uh, welcome back uh, so in this video let's explore the deformer which is there in the uh, move tool menu deformer is a great way to deform your model with a bounding box uh, cage uh, which is popularly known as the lattice deformer in another other applications uh, so let's get started with the video so uh, deformers are very important part of uh, modeling uh, process uh, so in deformers, uh, there is a very important deformer called lattice deformer or uh, freeform deformer, which is available in other softwares. Uh, in ZBrush, we have uh, this deformer by the name just deformer. So if I just uh, pick the move tool, okay, and uh, once I pick the move tool, just when I click the gear button, you'll get the deformer here. So just select that and you should be able to see it, it brings up a cage and uh, there are some white dots which are the deformer points or the lattice points what you have so if i uh, select any particular point and drag you should be able to see uh, the bounding box is uh, the way the bounding box is deformed the internal shape the model is getting deformed along with that uh, so this deformer allows us to um, you know deform in a bigger way uh, especially in terms of volumes uh, so this deformer has uh, uh, some handles here on the corner so if I hold this red color or I mean this red color represents the x-axis, the green color the y and uh, blue color the z-axis. So on these three axes you've got three handles here. So the first handle is the divide handle where I can select and increase the points or decrease the points in that uh, direction. And uh, we have uh, very similarly um, the points can be added on all the uh, sides. Okay. So uh, then we have the smoothness and we have the symmetry. Okay, uh, you have uh, right now uh, zero and uh, one and two. So when the value is zero, there is no symmetry in this model. So if I just select this point and drag, uh, there's nothing happening on the other side of the model. But when I just click and drag this one, uh, now when I move this point, uh, when I'm moving uh, this point here uh, with the same amount of pull, uh, on the mirror side of the deformer that point is also moving the same way it's always trying to stay parallel uh, to each other and then we have uh, one more point where it is mirror when i move it in that moves in move it out that moves out so whatever options we have here uh, one is uh, no symmetry then parallel and then symmetry uh, we have all that options on uh, the y also and the z also so that ends up uh, leaving this point here so it, it affects the model in all the directions just by dragging those points uh, like that. So let me just uh, bring back those uh, symmetry and uh, I'm going to um, select the middle point and drag it. Uh, maybe I'll just uh, do the symmetry on the Z and then start moving those points like that. Now I should be able to see here um, uh, we have uh, something called uh, smoothness so when i'm just uh, reducing the smoothness the deformation is very sharp while i'm increasing the smoothness value the deformation is uh, soft okay so these deformers are used to you know um, modify the base mesh uh, so that it can get some sort of you know uh, stylized uh, caricaturized effect onto the model so uh, if you could see we got uh, this face model so uh, I will be adding some points here in the Y and then I'm going to add the symmetry on the X and then start pulling those points there and uh, you should be able to see I'm trying to make this more uh, you know uh, into a caricature style or I want to stylize this uh, particular model so I'm doing that way so uh, we also have as I, I, I told you the smoothness uh, this ends up giving me some interesting shapes uh, when we deform them um, and it's it's like explore this tool and then you could able to visualize or get uh, the results accordingly so this deformer is definitely a, a useful deformer to deform the model in in, uh, in a bigger form so i mean you are reducing the number of control points to deform the shape which generally um, uh, very hard when it is at the vertex level so whenever you got this deformer you just click the gear button and then say accept and that deformer is gone and then you got the result accepted onto the model there okay so that's the deformer here for you guys i hope you like the video 
if you like the video hit the like button and also if you have not subscribed my channel subscribe the channel and leave a feedback or comment in the comment section uh, if you have any questions related to the video or any scope of improvement from my side thank you very much